Hey, good evening. It's uh, Saturday, October 5th, and welcome back to Everyday Talks 24-7. Really great to uh, end the week with you, and here's a good thought for the Lord's Day. And it has to do with how do we break free from sadness? Because there's so much sadness around us. But we're looking for the wrong places. We're looking for joy and happiness in the wrong places. Listen to what Proverbs 15, verses 13 and 14 say. A happy heart makes the face cheerful, but heartache crushes the spirit. The discerning heart seeks knowledge, but the mouth of the fool feeds on folly. Now, you've heard me talk about Hebrew parallelism here quite a bit, and tonight is a great example of exactly what that means. We need to read the first line of verses 13 and 14. They form a unit together, a parallel unit. So a happy heart makes the face cheerful. The discerning heart seeks knowledge. So this happy heart that brightens the countenance, that warms us, that gives us that bright personality of encouragement, that comes from a heart that is seeking knowledge. They're meant to go together to encourage us. A happy heart, where does it come from? It comes from a heart <clears throat> that is seeking knowledge. And the heart is that inner person within us, that very private person. Are we seeking knowledge? See, here's the key. When we're sad, we use the wrong tools. We use the tools of the culture. We use the music of the culture. We use the getaways of the culture. We use the quick fixes of the culture. The great meal, the great entertainment, even the hike or the walk. But then when it's done, we're back in our sadness. How do we break free from sadness? Well, it's illustrated in the negative and the second two lines that are meant to get to go there, to go together. The heartache crushes the spirit. And you and I know what that's like. When we're discouraged, we're crushed inside. But the mouth of the fool feeds on folly. A fool is someone who lives as if there's no God. If your heart is discerning data, discerning information, discerning uh, ways to break free from listening to certain types of music over and over again, listening to the blues over and over again, listening to certain forms of country music over and over again, trying to find the quick getaway, trying to find anger as a relief, get back at someone, vengeance. Maybe it's substance abuse. Maybe you think you can escape through vaping. Maybe you think you can escape by running away, by hiding out. That's the mouth of a fool, living as if there is no God, and it feeds on folly. Do you see the negative impact this has? It leads to a crushed spirit. Because these things will not promote a happy heart. They will drive the heartache. So Solomon is telling us here <clears throat> in very clear but strong language, the happy heart comes from a heart that is seeking knowledge, the truth of God's will. Because this is the only place where we can be certain where true happiness lies, which gives us an opportunity to interpret everything around us through the hands of a loving and faithful God. But the heart that is, feeds on the folly of this world, from people who act and live as if there is no God, at best it's a quick fix, and at worst it deepens prolongs, crushes our heart. The 
heartache comes from listening to the mouth of fools, which feeds on folly, on foolishness, on the wisdom of this world. So breaking free from sadness, <clears throat> that's the hope that's here. How do I break free from sadness? I take this word, I realize that I am secure in Christ. I realize that God does not hold my sins against me. See, what does the enemy want you to think? <laughs> that we're condemned, that we're awful, and that God is always holding our sin over us. No, Psalm 103 says that God does not hold our sins against us. He does not treat us as our sins deserve because of Jesus. If I try any other method to get out from the pressure of sin, I'm listening to folly and my heart will be crushed. But if I can embrace the truth, not take my anger out on other people, not <clears throat> seek relief and break from sadness and doing things that are vengeful and hurtful, being bitter, but rather find the joy that's in here. Give to others. Have a heart of gratitude that cares, that expresses thanksgiving, <clears throat> that reaches out, that heals. As Proverbs 3 says, our bodies will be healed as well. So lay hold of these strong words here in Proverbs 15. A happy heart makes the face cheerful, but heartache crushes the spirit. The discerning heart seeks knowledge, but the mouth of a fool, the mouth of a fool, feeds on folly. Don't feed on the trash of this world. Feed on the wonderful power of God's word, which can lift us, bring joy to our hearts, and a smile of contentment to our face. And that's the thought for this night. Pray you have a blessed Lord's Day tomorrow. Keep looking at Proverbs 15. Beautiful chapter. Thank you so much for being here, and good night. Thank you.